my channel my name's Jade and this is my channel girl of the hour thank you so much for coming and watching um I have makeup on what is this what happened what did I do um yeah I'm going out I'm going to a friend's house warming uh actually it's my work colleague's house warming and I'm really excited so I wanted to show you what I kind of look like when I have makeup on and when I'm all dressed up um just so that you can see kind of my style and how I do my makeup um, and how can I get this look? I've also <laughs> gone through quarter life crisis. <laughs> and I have, um, I'm really happy about it actually, it's really cool. I have cut, cut myself a really short fringe, which I'm kind of digging, because especially with my like, my shaved side, I think it looks pretty sick. I'm like, zhuzh it up. I really like it. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it also looks amazing up. I've done like two little, like hills bits on the side so it looks really sick when it's up but um yeah kind of I'm really digging it I did that and I also got my lip pierced which you can see um which I'm really happy about as well so I'm kind of going through this like transitional change which I'm loving um and I'll show you along the way what I'm doing but yeah I, I'm really happy with what I've done here and I'm happy with the way that I look today to go out so uh, let's get cracking and I'll show you how I prepare and get ready for a night out. So uh, I basically washed my face with soap and I know that you're all like, Jade, you shouldn't do that, but it works really well for me. It works really well for my skin type. Um, I wash it with like natural soap. So this one's, uh, it's called an earth soap. I can't remember who I got it off. Usually I get my soaps from Mary Creek, which are a really good brand of soap. Um, but this one in particular works really well. It's got like shea butter and clays and stuff through it as well. So I find it looks really well for my skin. So I'm just gonna wash my So uh, first things first, I'm, I'm actually gonna just uh, tie, tie my hair all back. Including my fringe because I wanna um, clean, clean my skin. Let's just put that back there. And uh, now that I've got this fringe, I'm, I kind of like, I just kind of pin it back. It looks a little bit strange, but I'm just going to grab all of that. You can see my, <laughs> my shave sides. My God, I have such a long head. <laughs> Alright, so um, yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to, because I've just got this piercing today. Oh, jeez, that looks weird. Because I just got this piercing today, I'm going to have to clean it up. So it's, um, I just got some rock salt water. There's no one like oh, oh, that freaking hurts. This one really hurt to get, by the way. It really hurt. Um, I've had a few piercings, like I've had my truggers, I had my side lip, um, septum obviously, my nose, and like none of them really hurt as much as this one did. Like this one. Ah, oh, alright, I'm done with this. Cleaned it up. Um, yeah, eventually I'll get a ring, but for now this is what I have to have, so that, that's what I'm going to have. Alright, uh, yeah. Okay, now that I've washed my face and it's nice and glowy and fresh, um, I usually put rose water. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I'm going to put rose water on my face. This one is, um, uh, it's from, it's from somewhere like Israeli, I think, like Israel. But it's really good. I don't know. It's just like a standard rose water, but I find it really good for my skin. I get most of the stuff from Whole Foods because my mom works at Whole Foods. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on my face. So I kind of just use it as a toner. So I just kind of like pat it on. You can still see my face is still wet. And um, yeah, I just kind of pat it on my skin just to make it nice and fresh, and it sinks in really nicely, and it gives it gives your skin a really nice freshness. And you smell, oh, you smell delicious. You smell amazing. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like pat that on my skin and we'll wait for that to dry. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I, I use uh, Rose Geranium Essential Oil as my perfume. So I'm going to put some Rose Geranium Essential Oil on this. Also I get from Whole Foods because it's, it's my main squeeze. Whole Foods. So I'm just going to kind of rub that into my skin. It makes your skin really soft as well. Gives you a nice glow. Oh, you smell delicious. So, so now that that's dried, um, I'm going to put my favorite rose hip oil on my face. The one that I use is Springfield's. Um, I'm pretty sure that is 
in uh, I think Western Australia from memory. Um, but the, this rose hip oil is amazing. It's really, really, really nice for your skin. It gives me a really nice softness. Um, and I just find like I, I just can't live without rose hip oil, so let's just pop it on. So I usually try and like that hurts. Try and massage it into the skin, especially under my eyes, just so um, I don't look so dead. Uh, yeah, I don't generally wear makeup, so this is kind of my routine for every day as well, and every night I do this, and it works amazingly for my skin, it just gives me a really nice glow. Oh, God, I love it. Um, if, if I have spots, which very rarely happen for me, um, I use this stuff which I got from War Botanicals, and that's from Warburton in Victoria, and you just get like a Q-tip. I'll just demonstrate it, you get a q-tip and you just kind of like dab it on like some areas and kind of and it's got echinacea and tea tree in it so it's really really good for the skin so and it's all all natural ingredients um most things that I use are natural like all my skincare is, is natural um and they're like five ingredients so it's not like you know ingredients that you don't really know they're all very very basic ingredients so yeah, sorry guys, I just thought I'd move myself around a little bit because it is um it was really dark where I was, so just trying to get better loading. I've never really done this before. Um but basically, I'll explain to you what I've done because you haven't been able to see it. Uh, I'm just gonna fix up these bits here. So I'm just working on my eyes. Um first, I always do my eyes first because I find it just easier and if there's any fallout you can fix up. But basically what I've done is I have used I have Horus, I love this brand. I have Horus, these are all natural, all my makeup's natural. I get it from a health food store. Um, and it's all made out of minerals and really good ingredients. So I have Horus, works specifically with eyes. Um, and I got the eye, I have Horus uh, brown eyeliner. Um, it's a pencil and I actually use it as my, I use it for my eyebrows and I also use it for my eye makeup um, just to darken it up because I find mineral sh uh, shadows don't really like give you that intensity that I want. So I use this kind of as an underlayer so what I've done is I've drawn it on my eye and then I've blended it out and then on top of that I've put Brown Sienna by Inca which is the brand and then popped that on top of my eyelids um, and kind of blended that out. Now it does look very high um, on my eyelid but I have very small dark brown eyes very very small so I just kind of like these are all um, what are they called uh, ethically sourced fibers so they're actually they're not even made out of animal product at all they're vegan they are vegan and they're ethically sourced so I get these from the body shop for my brushes which I don't have many because I'm not really that much into makeup but um, yeah I have really small eyes so I like to make my eyes really like pop out so that you can actually see them <laughs> so um, yeah let's continue to go along I'm gonna do it on my eyes and I'm gonna explain to you what I've done so what I've done here is I've just got um, Scout Cosmetics another natural brand I bought uh, their mineral foundation in a really light shade um, and I use that as my highlighter so I just pop that underneath my eyes I actually use my fingers for this because I find with the minerals it kind of like it needs that kind of like patting Thing. and it helps like to give you really good lines as well for where you want your eyeshadow to end so yeah I just kind of popped that on so I've done that stage um, and I will be using this later to do some contouring and highlighting as well um, but let's go on to the next stage okay so what I've just kind of done there is I have uh, popped the eyeliner again underneath the eyelid uh, not the eyelid what's it what's the bottom part called the the bottom of my eye and I've smudged that out um, and I've also done the ink on top because I kind of like this sort of like burgundy, coppery, sort of like smoky eye thing around my eyes because it makes my eyes stand out. So yeah, I've kind of done that with my eyes which you can see there. Um, let's move on to some contouring and highlighting of the face. Okay, uh, yeah, so what I've done is I've just um, used that same uh, Scout makeup foundation -y. it's not really a foundation it's kind of like a light mineral thing that you're supposed to put on your skin anyways it's too light for my skin so I use that as my highlighter so just popped it through the center of my face and underneath my eyes obviously um, I don't wear foundation I don't feel like it's necessary for myself at least 
Um, I just don't really like to wear it so I just kind of like contour my face using like a bronzer and this stuff and it tends to give me a nice glow so yeah let's continue on with the bronzer okay so there you go the scout uh bronzer is what i use for my skin um you can still see like my skin underneath there because i don't wear any foundation but i think this is plenty i think it gives me a really nice glow and i look really healthy and fresh um and that's kind of the look that i'm i go for i guess so uh yeah that's the the scout bronzer i just put it on like a little c shape around my head and with my chin kind of a bit of everywhere actually it just gives me a really nice glow and it feels really silky and soft on my skin so there you go i've just done my brows um and i've used that eyeliner that i used before so i just basically draw like a line underneath my brow line and then kind of like across and then i fill it in with a brush which i also got from body shop it's an angle brush um, all my brushes are from the body shop because they are quite ethically sourced. Um, yeah, so I mean all around I kind of use like five products on my face to make makeup or not even like four products um, and I just kind of use them for different purposes. So you can see my, my brows there. Um, yeah, let's move on. Yeah, so what I've basically done there is I've put a little bit of that eyeshadow and I put it on my cheeks just to add a little bit of colour and kind of give me a bit of a rosy finish. I'm just using that um, brush from the body shop to kind of blend that out. So uh, yeah, you can kind of see what it looks like so far. I think this is kind of more than like enough makeup um, in terms of like coverage. I don't know, for me it kind of works really well. So I really like this kind of bronzy, alive, glowy kind of makeup. Okay, and last but not least, I have put uh, the Eye of Horus. Uh, this is a like felt tip liner thing, it's a black one. I put this um, as, a, on the, as a wing, so I've done like a wing liner and then put this on the bottom of my lash line, um, which I think just adds like that extra kind of like exotic dark gypsy feel, which I really like. So yeah, that's kind of, um, that's kind of my, my makeup look or how how I like to wear my makeup when I do go out. Um, but let's move on to the rest of what I will wear and my hair and how I style myself. So there you go, I've just uh, fixed up my, my new hair. This is kind of what it looks like. This is at the top of uh, my, my dress looks like that I'm wearing tonight and I've got some of my jewels that I make, crystal jewelry, as well as you know, my feather, feather earring. Um, my to bone. But yeah, this is my new haircut. This is what I look like with makeup on. Uh, although it's not much, I think I think it's enough. I think it's plenty to go out in. So yeah, I will show you the full length so you can see what I'm wearing. So yeah, guys, this is what I'm wearing. This is kind of the outfit I've chosen for today. So um, it's a dress that I got from an op shop. Actually, it was like four dollars or something like that. Ridiculous. And it's got angel sleeves. And it's kind of got this really nice embellished kind of front and I've put like a brown belt with it and my jewels and I got my cool funky boots on. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be wearing for tonight. I've also got a jacket which I will show you. So this is the jacket that I've decided to wear with it and my, my scarf because it's going to be a very, very cold night here in Melbourne. So um, yeah, this is kind of the outfit of choice and, and what I look like with makeup on so uh thank you so much for watching guys have a lovely evening thank you for coming to my channel like subscribe share follow please um love you all Mwah.